Ryan Mock, the newest team of our, the newest team member here at KFGO, but also part of Tom's team. He'll be doing some storm chasing for us. And um, people can follow you on Facebook, on Twitter. You're going to be updating there. But then we hope to have you also calling in to KFGO and giving our listeners updates. Yeah, too. yeah, definitely. So, so uh, we're excited about if that. If we have severe weather in the in the listening area, I'll be uh, out there to confirm or deny and, uh, it, and to uh, specify the warnings a little more clear so people can you know really know what, what they're dealing with out there. Okay, a few questions in at 35270. When he has a tornado coming towards him and he's in legit in danger, does he just brace himself or does he try to run from it? Wondering what is the best course for the common folk if they find themselves there. We oh. hear that flying debris is worse than the tornado. Do you get as low as you can? So the official word, I guess they say, is you should try to get out of the vehicle and, and, and get in a low-lying ditch. I've heard other... National Weather Service meteorologists say you should probably just stay in your car in the ditch. And then I personally would try to just run in the vehicle if you can and get away from it. If you can't, well, I'd probably, right. I'd say, I think, I, and I personally think being in a car would probably be, the, you know, like if you drive your car down in the ditch, at least you're protected by, you know, mm-hmm. a, a metal, because it, it's not necessarily going to be strong enough to throw your car. And if it's going to throw your car, it's also going to throw you, so... Might as, Might well as well have your car around you. Yeah. Well, exactly. One of the myths out there is people sometimes choose to hide in underpasses. Oh yeah, oh, and that actually bad. amplifies the wind. Yeah, it's like it's oh, like the sure. if you have a garden hose and you put your thumb on the end of the garden hose, the water comes out harder. Yeah, Oof. you're squeezing. Yeah. You're you're making the air go through faster. People have been sandblasted to death in those things mm-hmm. and just totally destroyed by these uh, strong winds. So do not do that. Oh, yes. that's a great question. What do you say to your yeah. auto insurance company? <laughs> I mean, well, do they not? They 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 don't know. They're like, I use this for work, and they're like, and what do you do? <laughs> Be like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that I, I guess that hasn't came up yet. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, hopefully, I mean, never will. Yeah, hopefully, right? never hopefully, will. never will. Huh? Yeah, I usually don't. I usually don't break any glass. If it was like happening every other week, they'd probably raise an eye. But you know, sure. But you're so far so good. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, I've got a yeah. question for you. No, I didn't mean to cut in, but no. it's on my mind, and uh, something that's on my mind that slips away quickly at my age, but I just thought I'd ask <laughs> it while I could. Is it getting tougher out there to chase storms legitimately with all these thrill seekers out there? Is there a traffic issue? Sometimes when you need to escape, does it get kind of tough with all these other vehicles out there, people trying to get the money shot? So Sometimes, speak? yeah, and, and that typically is more like in the – well, like now in the southern plains, you know, May – down in Kansas and Oklahoma, and I haven't been in Oklahoma. I refuse to chase in Oklahoma. I'm just not the place is a zoo. It's not happening. But can yeah, in, in the in the peak spring months, um, it tends to get a little chaotic with you know a lot of locals out there. And yeah, that is that is a big concern. That's sometimes if you just need to get on the road and like bolt her out of there. Well, now we have a conga line of like you know mm-hmm. seventy or eighty people that you know it, it it tends to be a little sketchy up here. Luckily, uh. By the time we get our season, which is typically like June to August, so not June to July, you know, we um they usually stay down there. So like it, it's not as heavy up here. I've never experienced that up here. Mm-hmm. I have, however, experienced uh you know trying to escape from you know, in- incoming danger and people are hiding under an underpass to you know save from getting a ding or two on their on their car, which is uh, you know. A whole nother conversation of frustration, but um, but I, I understand that you know some folks you know might not know that that's a bad thing to do, you know. But yeah, like Tom was saying, it from a tornado standpoint, it accelerates the wind, and it's like absolutely the worst place you can ever hide from it. Wow. So, yeah. Well, I'm look. I mean, I, I'm, I'm looking I, forward, forward to, to it. hearing <laughs> you, but I also at the same time want to be like, Ugh, well, that means hope that we, we don't hear from weather. you. Yeah, yeah. It's like hope. an insurance policy. You don't want to file a claim, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like excited to have you on the team. Hope we don't have to use you a whole lot. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, hopefully not. Hopefully both. not locally here. If but, people yeah. want to follow you, you've got a great online presence. How are they going to find you online? Oh, uh, Facebook's the better. Uh, it's Ryan Mock Storm Chaser. Just you, you'll find my page on there. Um, I, I'm also at Twitter. It's on a, a different handle, but uh, if you just Google Ryan Mock Storm Chaser, you'll find all my socials. 
But then, of course, stuff. keep it tuned here to KFGO yeah. and, and hear from Ryan on the air. We're excited to have you part of our team. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, glad to be here. Yep. And thanks to Hotel Tom Shemansky. Appreciate it as always. You betcha. Yeah,